Hey everyone, this is Daniel with Austin Hose, and today I'm going to show you all how to properly and safely make a hydraulic hose. We've seen a lot of videos out there that are pretty dangerous, people doing stuff the wrong way, and so we felt compelled to make a video that does everything the right way. So first things, first thing that you do, let's pretend that we're going to make this hose. Well, we are going to make this hose. First thing you do is you look at the ley line. And the ley line is going to tell you a couple things. It's going to tell you the size, which this one is 3 8 It's going to tell you the pressure rating, 3,000 PSI, and the SAE spec. The SAE on this one is 100R17. So the best thing to do is make the exact hose that, that you get. Um, but you might not always have, there's a bunch of different SAE specs, and you might not always have every SAE spec they have. So. Um, a good rule of thumb is to just go over. If you're, you don't want to go under on the pressure rating, but you can go over. So like I said, this one is 3,000 PSI. The hose that we stock is um, 4,800 PSI. So it's overkill, but it's definitely better to be overkill than to be under. So next thing you do is um, we've got these two thread ID kits. You want to make, you want to make sure that you get the right thread, uh, the, the right fittings on here. So these look like number eight JIC, but we will double check right here. These thread kits are nice because they have a male and female side depending on what hose you have to check. You can check female side here, or male side here. That one is good. And that one is good. Okay, so the next step, we need to measure our hose. So we will come down here Bring this with us. Let's put it on the very edge of our table. And this one is 35 and a half inches. So we'll put our hose stop right there at 35 and a half. And that's measured from end to end. Now we've got to, to make our hose match this one exactly, we've got to take off this piece right here in the measurement. So here we are at 35 and a half inches. We take off that measurement and we are at 32 inches. Okay? Now we have, now I want to cut from here to here on the hose. So we'll turn the saw on. Safety glasses. Got that all the way to the end. I'm going to mark this piece right here. That's my zero. Bring it up to the saw. Put it right in the middle. There we go. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is put it in the insertion tool. This is a 3 8 hose, a number six. So you find the right hole and you mark it, do that on both sides. And the reason you do this is because if you don't put the fitting in all the way, you're gonna have a blowout. So that is a guide to tell you when the, when the fitting's in all the way. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is blow a projectile through the hose. And we're gonna do that on each end. Um, and I need to get some projectiles. Drake, will you hand me out one of those? Give me the number six. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. This is our 3 8 projectile. This is a real easy way to do it. Very important step. This gets all the, all the rubber and any crud that could be in your hose gets it out. So whenever you put it on your piece of equipment, it's clean and it's not going to contaminate any of your hydraulic components. So, very easy step, very important step. It's just these little foam projectiles that we're gonna shoot, one through each side. Here's our little, they call these a pig. So here's our little pig catcher. This is real simple, I've got a foot pedal down here. Just drop it in there, put it on. Okay. Drop the other side in. There we go. All right, so now that this is cleaned, 
and we've got our mark. We grab our fitting, make sure that it goes on all the way. See, what I was talking about is if sometimes people just put it on and they think it's on all the way, but it's not. It looks like it, from this side, it looks like it is. But then you put it over here, you see that it's not, you're going to have a blowout, which can be very dangerous. So that guide, now you can't see the guide, that little mark. So you know that the fitting is on there all the way. Or another thing, if you, you put it on there all the way, and then you're walking over here, you forget about something, and it, and it kind of jiggles loose, if you don't have that guide, you don't know if it's on there all the way or not. So very, very important step. I've got it down to the guide on both sides, and now we're ready to crimp. All right, now it's time to crimp the hose. So we're going to take it over here to the machine. I've already got this set up in my favorites. So this is a 6MXT, gate 6MXT. I just select that right there, and I'm ready to crimp. So i got to make sure I've got the right fitting, a 6G, which I do. The right die, a 722, which I do, and I'm ready to crimp. So we grab our cone, feed it from underneath, press our button, and we hold it all the way until this thing turns green, or it stops. That side is done. Feed that side in. You want to make sure that the top of the die teeth are slightly above the top of the crimp fitting. If you don't do that, then it'll mushroom out and it'll blow off. Okay? Notice how I'm not holding anything right now. That's another reason why you do the mark is because, okay, I have that thing dangling by itself and maybe the hose can slip out a little bit. So if you don't have that mark, if you, were, if you were to see a mark right here, you'd be like, oh, crap, I've got to redo this because I'm not, uh, it's not inserted all the way and I'm going to have a blowout. I can't see anything, so I know my fitting's inserted all the way uh, on both sides, so I'm good to go. All right, so one last step that some people do is shoot one last pig through the hose. This one is a little bit more challenging because... Sometimes the fitting can get, the, the projectile can get stuck in the fitting and you don't know it. Um, this is, the tube has been compressed in here, so if it gets stuck and you don't know it, that's going to get into your hydraulic system and cause some issues, uh, and you definitely don't want that. So um, some people do it, some people don't. Uh, if you talk to the manufacturer of this stuff, they do recommend that you do three pigs, one on each side before you crimp and then one after you crimp. So... What a lot of people do whenever they're cleaning out their assemblies is they just get a compressor and blow it out, which gets some of the debris out, but it definitely doesn't get all of it out. We've got some videos that show how much debris actually in slow motion actually gets out of the hose whenever you shoot a projectile through it. It's crazy. So um, a compressor, using a compressor is better than nothing, but it's definitely not ideal. You want to use, use the projectiles to make sure you're getting all that, all that crap out of there. So that is it. You're ready to put this on the machine. Oh, sorry, one last step. We've got to double check our crimp. So for this one, we are looking for 0.835 inches. Let's get my caliper out. I'm at 0.83. Four, so that's great. You want to be within plus or minus uh, 0 0.05. So we're definitely within that range. We've got a good crimp. We've got an assembly that we can say with confidence is not going to blow off. And um, it's very safe. So hydraulics are dangerous. Very, very, da they, can, they can be very dangerous. They can cause serious injury, death, if not done correctly. So make sure that you do it the right way, please. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at Austin Hose or, or anybody, um, any hydraulic expert. Uh, do not make a hose just kind of assuming that you know what you're doing. It's very important that you, that you follow all the right procedures. Um, and yeah.
Thanks for watching, and be safe out there. Gegum. Feel pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? That's pretty good. Uh, we just have one small cut, which is uh, when you move from here over there Kay. to the crimper, and uh, that should be it. It should be pretty good. Uh, microphone still working? Good. Should I hope so. Yeah. Okay. okay.